Hi guys, Squirrel here. And today I'm going to show you how to get into Wasteland. I'm going to teach you the basics of Wasteland, what it is, talk about it, show you the interface, and then I'll leave you with some uh, Wasteland footage that I've been playing with the squad. I have to say I'm really enjoying Wasteland. It's a very nice change from DayZ, but we'll get onto that in a second. Let me just show you how to get into the game first. What you need to do, you need to start Armour 2 without any mods, any expansions. So if you look at the top right here, you'll see I've got absolutely no mods. If I click on expansions, you'll see all of these are disabled. If you see Daisy in there, then you need to detick that or disable it so that it's not showing any of these mods, which are the things with the at sign at the front. You, When you installed Armour 2, you should have had an icon to just start Operation 2 Arrowhead, and that's what you need to do. You need to start it that way. Do not start it with Daisy Commander or 6updata or any other Daisy tool. It's very important that you start it armor 2 operation arrowhead in vanilla mode having done that you can check because the top right up here if you can see my mouse up the top right there's no expansions listed assuming you've got that right click on multiplayer and here you're presented with a whole load of uh, servers not all wasteland we can click the filter button down here this is how we're going to find a wasteland server so make sure all of this stuff is cleared down make sure you've not got anything uh, set from when you've been playing DayZ or any other missions uh, I have all these on show and default and all of the rest as you can see are blank now the main thing to type in is Wasteland as the mission Ma Wasteland is a mission it's not a mod so you don't need to install anything like you do with DayZ uh, missions just come down when you join the server if we click that you'll see we've got quite a few Wasteland servers down the middle here these are all Wasteland Wasteland missions and what we can do is apply some more filters so that we can find a decent server uh, one of the things I like to do is, for example, minimum players. We might put uh, 10 in there. Max ping, don't want anything too scary, so maybe 200. Uh, and that should just about do it, really. That should find us a nice, there you go, a nice selection of servers we can play. Obviously, your servers will be different to mine because it will uh, it will find different ones based on your ping and your location. Uh, I happen to be in the UK, so I'm finding stuff around Europe and the UK. I'm not finding any US servers because presumably the ping's too high. But if you're in the US, then you'll start seeing US servers here. Now, the other important thing to note is because it's a mission, the actual Wasteland mission uh, has been forked slightly. So some servers may, may be running different versions of the Wasteland mission. For example, the uh, Armour 2 RU ones, they've got their own custom version of the mission. And then you've got 404 games. They've got their own custom version of the mission. And so don't be alarmed if when you join the server you notice it downloading the mission again and you're thinking to yourself, why is it doing this? I've already got the mission. I already played it on a different server. It's because it's a different version. It's a different fork of it. And you'll see some differences in features and I'll cover that uh, when we get into it. So let's just join a server. I don't want anything... As you can see, the servers are, what, 60? There's a 90-player server there with 57 people on it. Quite scary. Uh, custom vehicles. So obviously they've they've modified that. Um, what should we go for? Let's go for something not too not too full for now. Um, 49 out of 50, 26, that'll do. 4 or 4 games, uh, it's got 26 players, 27 players in it. 60 man, nice ping. Let's see how that goes. So we'll join that game. Okay, so the first thing you see is this screen. Now this is very, very important. In Wasteland, there are three factions. There are Blue 4, Op 4, and Independent. And whichever faction you play will change your game and also change the slots that you can play, or the roles, as, as Armour calls them. Now, as I say, this is a mission, which means it is essentially based on basic Armour 2. Uh, a mod, for example, DayZ, will bring in new elements to Armour 2 that aren't in the original game, whereas a mission will just use what is already there. That is to say that we've got slots in here that are already available in, in the Armour 2 game. So let's talk about them. We've got Blue 4, Op 4 and Indy. Blue 4 is uh, an army, a Blue 4 army. Op 4 is a, a red army. And Indy are completely independent of any army. They're um, almost like civilians, if you like. Think of them that way. Now, if you play Blue 4 or if you play Op 4, you are bound by the, the rules of the game, which state that you may not kill players in the same faction. If, so if I was to join Blue 4 I am not allowed to kill uh, other team players, other Blue 4 players. If I do then I could be kicked, punished or banned off the server. 
You can kill your friendly teammates. If you do, I suggest you apologise straight away. Uh, if it wasn't intentional, you're not trolling, obviously. Um, but otherwise, you may still receive a kick or possibly even a ban. I've never been banned yet for doing it. Normally, you just say, oh, sorry about that and things are okay. But they can still punish you via uh, it's an in-game punish system. What happens is, if you receive two punishments, the game ejects you onto independent. Uh, when you're independent, you can pretty much do what you like. You, know, you can kill anybody, even own independence and blue four and op four. But you can still obviously play together with other people or your friends if you want to. Let's join an op four. Uh, you can scroll down the slots here. Now, depending on which role you play, you will get a different kit. Uh, that's an officer kit. That's a sniper. If I join that, I'll start with a ghillie suit. Uh, rifleman, Spetsnaz operator. Some of these look quite nice. Some of them start with, with basic gear. One of them I would recommend you don't play is the medic or the doctor, if you see that. Uh, generally speaking, you will start in a bright white outfit, which, uh, as I found, is not very good for camouflage. Uh, you stand out like a sore thumb, so I wouldn't recommend that. However, if you do play Medic, you'll be able to heal your teammates uh, of, of their injuries, and they'll be able to heal themselves on you, which is quite nice and very useful in a squad. But you will stand out. Anyway, so let's try going in... Let's go for a Spetsnaz operator, shall we? You see the red, obviously it's Op 4, so it's kind of a Russian uh, side to it. Blue 4 is the, uh, the US NATO style. Uh, let's join as a Spetsnaz operator. One thing to note is, you carefully, the number of players that you've got, you might want to carefully pick which side you join. If you join a team that's got a lot of players, that might sound great. However, you'll have a lot fewer people that you can actually shoot. So try to keep a balance here. Make sure you've got other people in the other factions, enough people to shoot. Okay, so while that's downloading, let's talk about Wasteland. What actually is Wasteland? It's a post-apocalyptic setting uh, in Chinaris. And... What happens is there are lots of vehicles in Chinaris, so it's not like DayZ where you're always walking around. There are tons of vehicles. A lot of them are broken and need repairing, but it's okay because you can find and buy repair kits so that you can fix the vehicles up. More often than not, vehicles will have um, weapons in the back of them. That's where your loot points generally are. There are also weapon caches in the game which can be had, and they have an absolute ton of stuff. Now, there are some pretty scary weapons in, in this um, in this mission. We're talking Humvees with um, thermal rockets on top. Okay. Uh, that was in-game, by the way. <laughs> that wasn't me just putting on a strange accent. Um, so there are extreme weapons in this. There are thermal weapons. There are AS-50s. The lot. Now, this is the spawn selection screen. Again, you may or may not be allowed to do this here, which is spawn in a particular town. That depends on the mission, and it also depends on or the variance of the mission, and it depends if you've got players there. If you click random, you will spawn randomly around Chinaris, not on the coast like Daisy, but in a random town. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn here, which is Pusta. And you can see the, the rules are put up straight away. There's a TeamSpeak server. A website it tells you when the server is restarting so you can join TeamSpeak go and talk to other people and play with the other Op4 players really good it then gives you the basic rules let's go third person all right as you can see I've got myself a Spetsnaz operator skin uh oh there's a player that's a good one I don't know if that's friendly or not now you see the red dot uh, again on a lot of the missions it puts uh, dots over friendly players that's how you know not to shoot that guy if you shoot him, that's classed as a team kill, and he can punish you. So that's quite a nice feature. There are some uh, servers I've played on that don't do that, but uh, I find that quite useful. If you play indie, you will never get that because indies are not technically factioned together. They're just a group of independent people. Now here's a vehicle. Let, let me uh, move around here. If you spin the mouse wheel, you'll get a menu. Menu is gear. There's no weapons in there. That's a shame, but I can get in as driver. A view the vehicle content. Vehicle content, you're probably wondering what that is up there. Uh, capture a, a helicopter mission. Let me talk about the mission while it's popped up. Um, basically, every now and again, a mission will come up to do something. It could be to go and get a weapons cache, to fight, to get some explosives, uh, to, in this case, to go and uh, get a helicopter. That mission's just been completed because the uh, capture the medivac helicopter has been completed destroy the enemy so they've taken that helicopter and the mission now is to go and destroy the enemy who've got that helicopter helicopters uh, when they do spawn in missions generally will not be fueled up so you'll need to take fuel to them 
you can do that with fuel trucks uh, or jerry cans if you're feeling really brave um, but yeah those missions are what make wasteland so much fun because they give these focal points on the map for players to go to incidentally i'll come back to the car in a second i promise incidentally if we press m for map you'll see how different this is to a daisy map uh, the first thing to notice is you've got these strange uh, circles and often you'll see them as different colors now what they are are power circles and by power i don't mean uh, ownership i mean power as in electricity what's powering the lights in these streets is a substation and the substation if you go to it and flick the switch will knock out all of the the lights in that colored circle uh, not terribly useful but could be if you're playing really tactically you could knock out the lights in a town before you assault it however most people tend not to build bases in towns what are you talking about squirrel what do you mean build bases well that's one of the amazing things about uh, wasteland is you can build a base you can go around the map and you can find things to pick up uh, proper massive structures um, bunkers and pieces and deer stands and you can pick them up you can load them into vehicles and that brings me neatly back to view vehicle content you can see that's got 10 slots that can hold 10 slots of stuff that i can pick up and put into it i can transport it to my base and i can use it to construct a base and that's really awesome let me just get inside and you can see top left this vehicle is a decent state of repair and it has some fuel let's just check where i am which i can easily do i get a compass for free by the way uh, and a map and a watch and all those good things so i don't start like daisy with bugger all so here i am i'm in puster now what's near puster well i don't need to worry about fuel too much there's nothing particularly interesting going on there's a gun store we could pay that a visit if you shift click uh, you put a marker on the map there you go that will then show up press m for map again come back out that will then show up oops <laughs> that's not press my horn attracts attention that will show up on the there you go can you see it there right in the middle it says 2740 meters in that direction so oh bollocks this vehicle's got a broken wheel damn it okay we're not doing that let's go and find something else it shouldn't take too long to find a vehicle unless they've all been taken from the town but you can usually find something without too much trouble if you do get stuck and you don't fancy walking then you can always go escape or respawn and that will respawn you back to that selection screen oh and there's a URL told you now the other thing is they come in different colors this is my favorite this is the uh, the army camouflage that's really nice I mean that is such a proper army truck so we're going to check the vehicle contents with the gear and oh my god it's been cleaned out now look at the vehicle content of this 35 slots this thing can transport a lot of um, base building equipment and what I'll try and do is I'll try and find something assuming this one will drive I'll try and find something to show you I am playing this live as I'm commentating so uh, just like you I don't actually know what's going to happen I may get shot in the face uh, in which case it's not so bad I'll respawn and that's another reason I like this this uh, this mission a lot uh, is because unlike DayZ the penalty of death is not that high you can spawn back in a town, jump in a vehicle, uh, grab a, uh, a weapon fairly quickly and get back to your teammates, you know, within sort of 10-15 minutes. It's not a, oh my god, I'm going to have to run from the, the coast all the way up to Northwest Airfield. That's going to take me an hour. Um, it's not like that in Wasteland. You can get back in the action relatively quickly. But the other thing is, I would say, you know, reasons to play this. Uh, what kind of person would like playing this? Well if you it's, it's a sandbox game that's the first thing to say it is you get a lot of action in this game you can be driving along the road here and suddenly another vehicle will come the other way and it's not a friendly one it doesn't have a, a dot or red dot in my case above its head so you've got to make a very quick decision about whether you're going to engage the target they'll make a decision about whether they're going to engage you or you could be driving along through a town and suddenly get ambushed lots of crazy shit happens in this game and i'll show you some videos of real crazy stuff happening uh, anything from uh, just you know literally being camped out and ambushed by a tank yes there are missions to get main battle tanks in this game uh, although on some servers they have actually taken them out because they're a little bit overpowered there are also proper attack helicopters um, <laughs> shit can get real real fast on wasteland let me let me tell you that where am i going by the way where am i going 
Oh, we must go to Mogilevka. Let's go down this road and go up to Mogilevka. Okay, what's that mission there? It's an off-road SPG-9 is your objective. Get to it first. If I was to bring up the map now, this red cross marks any mission locations. I happen to be not really near that, so I'm not going to bother with it. But you can bet there are people in this area right now heading towards this base, this point. And that's the great thing. It, it forces players in different factions to head towards each other for a common objective. There will now be people setting up around this who will have the intention of taking people out coming to it. There will possibly be people in Mister looking at an ambush. If anybody's got a chopper, they'll be flying over there. They may even parachute people in. It's crazy. It, it's, uh, you, you can get into some amazing fights. So while I'm driving down here, I'm going to talk about the icons bottom right. There's my name. I like nuts, and I do indeed like nuts. In fact, I've got some nuts in front of me. Honey roasted mixed nuts, as it happens. Um, <laughs> but the four icons, the, the, the plus and the apple and the water and the what looks like a note. Okay, the, the, the health one, the 100 health, that is my hit points, if you like. That's my actual health. When I get shot at or run over or whatever... That will obviously deplete, hit zero, and I'm dead. The one underneath it is my food. Uh, and that's it. Another thing about Wasteland is you've got to take care of food and water. Food and water isn't that easy to find. What generally happens is you, f you will find it off dead players. When you kill a player, they will drop any food, water, or money that they have. Incidentally, those, eight, those three icons, the green one is food, the white one is water, and the bottom one there is money. That's $200. You can use money to buy things in the gun shop. Uh, for example, I think $800 will get you an AS50. Uh, you can also buy RPGs. Yep, RPGs. And the RPG rockets themselves are, I think, 200 I think the RPG gun is 400 and the rocket's 200 something like that. You can always pay a visit up to the gun shop and show you. Uh, so again, go over here, spin the mouse wheel, gear. Any weapons? Yep, there we go. G36 silenced. That's nice. Uh not it that's it uh, press F and a switch between burst full and semi uh, and you can see that's nice lovely lovely weapon I do like the G36 uh, was there anything in the back no unlikely uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone actually it might that's probably gonna be a lot faster if it's working I'll take that yep let's take that this will be a bit quicker than the Ural You better brush up on your driving skills, guys, if you've not uh, not driven much before. Uh, I'm moving the mouse here. That's the, the cursor uh, that you can see the little triangle. That's my direction. So I can use the mouse to steer. Ah, now look. This is a good one. Let me show you this. Let's get out here. Right. Now, this is somebody's base. I don't know if it's friendly or not. There may be a player here. I may be about to die. This is a stationary gun. If I go over to this, I can load in which will let me load it into a vehicle if it's nearby or I can just take object. If I click with my mouse to take object I can now move this. If I start to walk you'll see I lie down. The trick to this, let me just stand back up again, the trick to this is to hold the shift key down because it says down there you're walking too fast hold the shift key. When you pick up these objects and move them around you have to be walking at this speed with the shift key. Now let's have a bit of fun shall we? Did I hear a vehicle? Oh, it's so love a vehicle to come this way. But yeah, I'm going to shoot that bus. <laughs> I'll show you a bit of fun. I could even shoot my Euro, couldn't I? Yeah, that might be fun, actually. Okay, spin the mouse wheel. Release object. Rotate object. Lots of options here. Release object horizontally sounds good to me. And now it's down. I should be able to... get in as the gunner. It classes it as a vehicle, so I get in it. There we go. Let's go first person. Ooh, ow, ow. That's going to go on fire in a second. Meanwhile. Wheel, wheel, wheel. <laughs> Engine block next. You can see there's some proper bad boy weapons in this game. Um, and you can take stuff out. It really is a whole barrel of life. You know you feel like you've gone into a toy shop or a sweet shop 
and you just can't decide let me just reload you can't decide what you want to play with first Wasteland's a bit like that it's got so much crazy batshit stuff in it that you don't know what to play with first um, do I want to take that out? I like a bit of destruction in the morning <sighs> right let's get out of that you get the point so that stationary gun by the way you can actually just pick that up and you can put that in the back of your vehicle um, if it'll fit of course let me show you this I mean this is a massive bunker um, but bizarrely enough watch this take this object yes boys and girls you can move enormous structures around now what I want to say to you is this be very careful when you're moving these things around if there are any friendlies get stuck nearby if, they, if you clip them with one of these things you will kill them straight away and they will not be happy I know because I've been killed by one I'm going to block this road up just because I want it to be an annoying tosser like that so if we spin that release object horizontally that will deploy it and there you go look at that <laughs> so anybody drives up this road now <laughs> instantly going to get blocked by this thing and of course, one of the things you could do is put a stationary, ve uh, stationary weapon out here and yeah, you could just ambush people coming this way. You get the point. But the thing is about this is, oh, there's a friendly. See, he's probably spawned here because I'm in this town. So he's just spawned here because I'm here. Motorcycle, there's a motorcycle. Now there's a dead player. And he's dropped his money. That's a ghillie, so a sniper's obviously spawned here. Right, spin the wheel, sorry. Pick up money. And top right it says you have picked up $200. So if I click on, on the mouse wheel again, look left, uh, play a menu. I have on my possession now $400. I can tell that from down there. I also have two canned food, two bottled water and a fuel can. This is stuff that this server's mission has given me. Some of them don't give you any food or water. And some of them don't give you any money either. It can depend if it's hardcore or not. That guy's obviously committed suicide when he spawned. One of the things you can do is check motorbike gear, because it does still have stuff in it. Obviously that's only got an AK magazine, but you can still find weapons in the back of motorcycles as you can uh, a car or a truck. Don't think it's because it's tiny. It can't somehow smuggle uh, a weapon inside of it. Yes, it can because it has the gear slots for it. Anyway, so we've managed to um, block the road there. This structure here, again, this is another base structure. Let me just show you that. Spin the mouse wheel, take the object, and I can really block the road up just to annoy people an awful lot. Like that. Now this, did I hear a vehicle then? This could be the start of a base, you see. If I press map, there's me and Mogilevka. I could start telling players, if I press comma, go to the side channel, the side channel is all up for players. So you can see them talking here. I could say I'm setting up a base in Mogilevka, need help, and they would come down, hopefully, if they're playing the objective, as it were. Uh, they would come down and start helping me to build this base. Um, but I'm not, I'm just going to start demoing things to you, so I'm not going to show you that. Okay, this is a two-person vehicle, so obviously I could carry somebody on the back of this. Uh, view vehicle content it's only got five slots so it doesn't have much space oh that's another thing um, you can tow vehicles in this game now actually I, I, I've never tried this I never tried hooking a motorcycle up but I'm gonna try for the purposes of this demonstration by the way you see the viewpoint here if you hold the alt key down you can tip that up but then you'll have to use the left and right keys to steer with uh, just a nice friendly tip for you uh, when you're driving vehicles now. Whoa. Anyway, what you can do is tow vehicles together. So a Ural can pull another Ural or another um, another car. I actually towed two broken Urals with one Ural and then repaired it. That was awesome. Um, it doesn't look like you can. Here's the funny thing. Can I load this in the back of that? There you go. <coughs> so if I view vehicle contents, there's a motorcycle in there. Five slots for a motorcycle. So what I did then was I spun it and I said, oh, you see, I can tow vehicles. I spun it and I said, load in. And then I spun the mouse wheel on this and selected this vehicle. And it loaded it in the back. You can do that as long as it's close enough. That's a, a base structure, this ramp here, by the way. 
you can put that in the back of the Ural. What I could do is put that entire bunker in the back of this Ural. Yes, it, it doesn't look like it'll fit, but it does. It's just a matter of slot count. Don't worry about the actual size of it on the screen. Right, where should we go? Where should we go? Oh, we're going up to the gun shop. Yep, I'm going to show you the gun shop. Let's head north. T tell you what, we'll just go completely cross-country. Um, but let me just talk about the mechanics of Wasteland. It is a mission, it's not a mod. Currently, Wasteland has no persistence in it. And this is, if you like, the downside. But to be honest, it's not a massive downside. What happens is, when the server restarts, everything, and I mean everything, restarts. Um, all of the equipment is back to where it was, it's just completely reset. If you die, or if you leave the server, you are reset. So if you was to disconnect from this server now, uh, either accidentally or otherwise, and come back in, you would have to spawn in as a fresh player. There's no persistence, there is no database storing the details behind the scenes, it's all in memory on the server. Now that might sound like a bit of BS and, you know, not much fun at all, but, to be honest, what I've noticed is, when a server's been up a long time, one faction will often become very powerful. Once somebody gets a helicopter, they can start to fly from objective to objective before everybody else. So, you know, let's say you get a helicopter and then a mission appears to go and get a main battle tank. Well, the helicopter will be over there in a couple of minutes, probably refuel it and have left for that tank before you've even driven over there. So what happens is the balance of power turns in favor of the, of the guys with the helicopter and the powerful become even more powerful. So it can, at that point, become one-sided, which is why a lot of the servers, such as this one, are restarted on a regular basis. Let me just check that. Yeah, I wanted to go that way, I thought so. Um, a lot of servers are restarted on a regular basis, usually daily. Um, just just to avoid that, uh, and also to keep the frame rate up, because uh, armour does tend to degrade. God damn, my navigation. Armour does tend to degrade over time. Um, the engines, on the one hand, the engine of Armour 2 is amazing. On the other hand, the engine can be a bit shit. It's not a very efficient engine. I think we're talking about an engine here that has bone detail for every finger in a soldier's hand, which just smacks of what the fuck are you doing, guys? On the other hand, it's one of the most expandable, ex extendable, scriptable uh, engines you'll come across. As testimony to the fact that DayZ was written in it, Takistan Life was written in it, uh, tons of missions including Wasteland are written in it, uh, it's truly uh, a versatile engine. Um, Armour 2 engine of, uh, is, because it is so open and scriptable, of course, has that is in, its inherent problem is the hacking. Um, people log in and they inject hacks and run them locally and spawn weapons in and god knows what else. And that's where the hacking starts and ends because the engine is so damn open and scriptable. Because it was based on a war simulation. Okay, now here we come to the gun store here. This could turn very nasty real quick. I don't know if there are enemy players here. That's the gunsmith, gun store guy. No, it says there's a friendly here. Can't see him. Um, okay, let me just check the weapons of this thing first. Look at this, it's a Coyote. It's not a Toyota, it's a Coyote. And also, if you look around, there's another one. He's a friendly. He doesn't even see me. His plan is about that guy. He's probably just spawned here because I was here. Um, there's there's one called a uh, Sundat, which is a Datsun. Anyway, this is the gunsmith. This is a guy who can sell your weapon. If you spin your mouse wheel, select gun store, and feast your eyes on this. Okay, what have we got here? Mark 17. Okay, if you want some NV goggles, you can generally find them, but they're $100. Similarly with a rangefinder. M10 night vision. M4A18KM, $75. And you can buy magazines for it as well. Uh, unfortunately you can't buy a G36 from this dude, but you can buy stingers and javelins and therefore t try and take down choppers and vehicles, uh, which would be quite fun if you could do that. Mark 17 Sniper SD for 750 uh, What you do is you, you, you click on one of these things, let's say, sorry let's just buy something. An AKM you can select, I want to buy, I don't know, three magazines. So what you do is you buy the AKM and then you buy three magazines turn around at this box here oops gear and it will appear in here so there's the AKM as you can see 
Oh, look, somebody's left an M4. Oh, my God. Somebody has been in here, bought an M4A CCO, and left it. So let me just show you something. If somebody does that, turn back around to this guy. And sell. Oh, flick to your AKM, which you don't want. Spin the mouse wheel. Sell current weapon in hand. You made a total of $25. Woo! Rip off bastard. However, it wasn't mine to sell, so it's free money. Just going to take that. Nice. Okay, so he nicked the pickup. Of course he did. That was a gun shop. There's a general store. There's a general store. If you go there, the guy inside will sell you various uh, equipment, such as food, uh, and water, med kits, and repair kits. Actually, I'm not that far away, am I? Go global. We could actually dip down there and show you that. Shift click to put a map marker. Let's see if this thing's still working. If not, go back. Get my other vehicle. Yeah, that'll do. I'm hoping I don't get ambushed on the way. Uh, but it just I did go on a fairly quiet server. I could go, have gone on a hardcore server, probably get my face mashed in. Which isn't much use for teaching you guys how to play Wasteland. Um, so let me just tell you about Wasteland itself. Um, I am really enjoying Wasteland. Um, if you liked DayZ or you just like armor in general, you'll love Wasteland. It's proper fun. Uh, get on there with some friends, but if you can't, get on the with the server with TeamSpeak. Get on TeamSpeak and go and play with some other people. The best way to play this game is with other people. While we're here, I'm going to show you how to refuel. This is a fuel station. See my fuel bar on the top left there? Watch what happens. Go next to this. Unlike Takistan Life, you don't buy fuel. You just pull up next to the fuel station and wait for the bar to fill up. Top left. That's done. I now have a full tank. Oh, hello. There's been some action here. Can't see any money on the floor, so they've been killed and cleaned. Maybe I should just put my foot down. If this ends, it'll bring the whole thing to a grinding halt. God. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm going to die. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> so <dude. laughs> that was so obvious right okay so that's going to bring the thing to the end pretty much but that's shown you something um, you can die really quickly you can get ambushed but it's not like DayZ it's not really painful let's see what happens okay so I can spawn back in say Mogilevka uh, is this where I was? I think it is you know is this where I just died? no I died in uh, Novi didn't I? Um, oh, that was a shame. Because sometimes you can... I couldn't spawn back in a town with an enemy there. Put it that way. Even if I have friendlies there. Yeah, that's another rule. You have to clear out the enemies from a town and have friendlies there before you can spawn on it. Oh, I'm back here. <laughs> I'm back at my own little base. Um, how ironic. Yes, as I was saying, you, I've spawned back in after death and I, I'm in a town and I can get a vehicle and some equipment and I can very quickly get back into this game. And that's the beauty of Wasteland compared to DayZ. Even if there are hackers, it doesn't matter anyway because it's not like you've just invested, you know, days or weeks of building up a base and equipment uh, and then lost it all to some twat with a script. That's not the way it is. Uh, because the server restarts anyway, the penalty isn't that high. And also, the hackers, I've not really seen them around. Maybe, I, well, I actually have seen some with ESP hacks um, just so they know where you are. But there are servers that I know of that have active admins on them and they look for people teleporting, they look for people using hacks and they ban them. Uh, and that's the way to play armor, any armor mission or mod ultimately is to get on a server that's actively admined because the game, as I say, is so open. You're always going to have that problem and it's a shame because it's such a bloody versatile engine um, but it pays the price of being so. That's a quick introduction to Wasteland and how to uh, do the basics, engine off, get out, eject. If you eject an out of a moving vehicle, obviously there's a damn good chance you're going to get injured, break a leg. If you find a, I'm just going through some tips now, if you find a, a hospital vehicle or medic vehicle, you can walk up to it, spin your mouse wheel and say, heal myself. So you can even fix broken bones doing that. You can still drive vehicles with a broken bone. So you can always drive over to a medic place or a general store, buy a med kit, fi fix yourself up. So that's how you can get yourself sorted. Again, not like Daisy, you don't need to crawl around on your ass for four miles. 
this is a good thing bring up your map click on what is wasteland what am i supposed to do it will teach you the basics of some of the stuff i've run run through here um, again this will be different for each server but that's a description of what wasteland is uh, and al along with their personal change change log because obviously they've branched that the the, um, the mission themselves okay so there's a vehicle coming i don't know if it's friendly or not oh it is friendly there you go i can see because of the dot not all servers will have the dots on them uh, if you start in playing this then I suggest you go for a server John Blue 4 or Op 4 uh, Blue 4 is generally a bit more friendly and get a server that has dots on friendlies and then you won't be confused because when firefights break out in this there are so many players involved it's very easy to uh, shoot a teammate and it'll piss a lot of people off and you'll probably get transferred to Indy at best or uh, kicked off the server um, I'm going to leave you with some footage now of some action with my squad so that you can see what Wasteland can be like. Think of Bob. This Ellie. fucking thing's so slow. What is that? I don't know, let's get in that. If it's broken, I think I've got a repair kit. I can repair it to you. Can you hear a car? Does it need fixing at all, Fred? It doesn't, I don't have a thing in the It's got no wheel on it, the wheel's broken. Oh, can you repair that? Hang on. I just heard a car stop while that. Use repair kit. Yeah. Repairing really it, Fred. Fred. Cool, man. It's the guy in the uh, single white car. So the wheel should come back on it now. Us, there you go, see that? Yeah, get in. Get in the gun seat. Ding dong, this'll be a bit quicker. You're not gonna get in the gun seat? Oh, yeah, hang on. That made things interesting. Cabinet, no, you got a couple of hostiles. I think I've just nicked one of their year rounds. You can get like mortars and shit as well. Oh, this has got control. rounds in it. Oh, it's fucking hell, it's got two I 80 rockets nice. in it. Fred. <laughs> Where's that frigging quad bike? Oh, you guys got a rocket launcher? Holy crap, I yeah. want to shoot this. You fixed it? You fixed our, our uh, pickup truck? If they get to that chopper first, I'm rocketing it down. <laughs> I hear a quad bike. Look, they're right there. Where right. is it? Right side, right side. Do you see it? No, no, no. Where is he? I think he's going back to Devil's It's a bad castle. position, mate. Turn around. Yeah, just go, go, go. Where are you guys? They're miles, well, not miles east, but they're a bit east of us. Towards a heli. We could do it right now. I just want to see left, 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 left. Let's see if check base. Left. No shot, no shot. Let's pick Kinda up this nice jeep here with the... Uh, this fucking thing turns okay. with a lag on it. Uh, might be an Amakosh here. Rocket launcher. He's moving around quite quickly. Uh, he was down there somewhere. Awesome. Yeah, he was. I, saw, I did see him. I just can't get a shot on him. That's it. He got off. He got off. God bikes right there. In those bushes. He got off. Where about am I trying to shoot us, sir. Fred? All right, you see, Specifically um, me. Just where? keep moving a bit. Should be an Amazon here, isn't it? Do you see, see the, the quad bike? He got off it. Look, oh, left side. A little bit left. ATV. I take something from here. Bro. In the halfway in the tree. He's on it, he's on it, Paul. Paul, Paul, Paul. look left. Nobody is Mate, I don't, I'm Thanks. blind, I don't see it. Left, he's going towards the barn. Okay, I see him. I'll take off, he's cheeky. Go, go forward. Chasing him. Only have enough room for one. Yeah, yeah I'm taking off, there he is. have that? I should have. I've lost him. No, oh, I look, he flipped There's it, a quad, there's a quad. See. Well, that's that Woo. gone. Jesus, look it. how far it knocked it. We've got satchel charges mains as well. <laughs> like, it blew it 10 meters back off the road and just instantly detonated it. God, how do I get to this fucking thing? Uh, oh, 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 oh. What, what, what? Oh, no, it's friendly, 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 friendly. SUV. It's, the, uh, it's John. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's getting near the hell. Yes, it's John. Oh, oh this is area. my favorite car. That's what Luxury. I fixed it up, Paul. I fucking fixed it up, mate. Fucking nice. <laughs> fixed it up, Love this car. Off. <laughs> CIA in the house. Uh, there's, a, there's an enemy ahead, by the way, yeah, John? Okay. Let's go this way, then. So this car's like something off Grand Theft Auto. Do we get yeah, up here? Cool. Uh, John, we uh, get... you want? I'm not going that way. The enemy's there. You know, you, the you've marked the heli, yeah. yeah? You know where yeah, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's getting in the car. Someone's getting in the car. Did you hear Yeah. Which car? Oh, a heli. We're taking a heli. We're taking a heli. You can see them. Seriously? You taking it? No, they're taking no. it. There's three people there. There's three people there. What, oh, three enemies? Use my rocket? 
Yeah, yeah, take too far. Use, it, use the rocket, use the rocket. Oh, this is gonna be awful, Zero. Need to shoot really fucking high, man. Oh, hi. I've got no idea. I'm dying. I see you guys. Is that you guys in the Euro? Oh, no, shit, was, you were just whoa. being Euro. What was that explosion? That was my Euro getting taken out. Yeah, but the guy who whoa. just killed you was killed, I think. South Wait, who's East, in the SUV? Oh, that's close. In the. That's fucking close. Are you just close. gonna leave me here? I'm looking oh, for a car. out on the road. <laughs> I'm gonna check his village right here. You're popping you? willies and shit. Yeah. Some uh, John, 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 I think they're friendlies. You sure? You didn't have a shield. No, I killed the sniper. Oh, really? I got him. Yeah, I got him. I saw Ouija, you like. I where you were facing? No, no, no. There's a guy hiding in a tree. Got him. Oh, shit, okay. Got a car for him. Left side, left side, left side. I'm running towards you. Where was he, John? Oh, this guy. Get his gun, man. Yeah, That's me firing, by the way. I just want to aim his car there, man. I think we've got him. Holy dead. shit, I've got an attack here. I thought it was going to be like, it's you like know, cars, yeah, so. Where is what is that? Um. Give us still shooting. The, 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 yeah, I'm there yeah. right now with the Euro Rally's also a pickup here as well. You find him? Uh. He's running on the road. This is yeah, at, I really want a drink though. If I don't get a drink, I'm gonna die. Is this, is this friendly? Right sniper southeast, somebody said. Oh, that is not friendly. That it car is, is not friendly, no? Sa sniper southeast. Uh, I think it is. It's got a very faint blue. Is it? Okay, it's not gonna be any, any less. It's not friendly, friendly. Not friendly. What about that one there? Let's put one guy out. Is there another one, Paul? I hear two cars here. I, I don't know. know. I need to get news. I'm getting cover. I got this, this guy. Yeah, I'm that's coming funny. now, so... Cool. I think I got a sniper. Hey, there's a grenade Shots coming in. There for well, there was. I'm Shots. In the tree line and, uh... There's a... Oh, there's a truck here. I'm gonna just take my own ride. Still there. Yeah. there was some NVGs in there. There is. I'll take so. the NVGs because they're totally useful. You getting this pickup truck? Yeah, this is this is you. Where are the shots coming yeah, from? Yeah, I'm getting that actually. Totally faster. I have no idea. We're still taking incoming fire, guys. So we're going to the yeah. same place? Yeah. Is the, is the heli still there? It is, isn't it? It's just objective silver. Yeah, he said heli was blown up. I got the guy in the with the 50 cal. Cool, oh, shot guy in the heli. For medic. He's the mine. Guy brought a Euro over to the heli. The, um, the Do you want to go to objective? Yeah, I think he's no, dead. I can hear somebody yeah. else though. Oh, somebody's taking off. It's kind of far away, it's fine. One second. Is there a road anywhere? Oh shit, oh, you've got 12. That smells weird. But... Yeah, if I just go a bit north, I should be able to get to a road, but it shouldn't be too far. We've got an armor cache at home, already, so if you, you can go away. put all your spare weapons and shit in that. This is for the armored vehicle? Stop, stop. No, this is for the... I'm not sure what it is. Retrieve explosive. Apparently it's got, got, it, got secret got it, got military got weapons or something. Nice. So, decent weapons, I guess. Oh, we got him. So if we just go on this road, it should be long. Nice, nice, nice. What am I doing? Are on the stream? Oh, nice. Take I it. just got <laughs> run over by a friendly. Was it one of the pins? Kill him, I'm killing him! <laughs> I don't know who it was. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I think he killed about five of them. It's ridiculous.